The abyss, the vast and mysterious depths of the ocean, represents one of the last frontiers on Earth. This dark realm, often found in the deepest trenches, is characterized by extreme conditions that challenge our understanding of life. Here, pressures can exceed 1,000 times that of the surface, temperatures hover near freezing, and sunlight is non-existent. Despite these harsh environments, the abyss is teeming with life, showcasing the resilience and adaptability of organisms that have evolved to thrive under such conditions. These adaptations are not just fascinating, they hold significant implications for biology as we know it. The unique ecosystems found in the abyss challenge traditional biological rules and offer insights into the potential for life in extreme environments elsewhere in the universe. As we delve deeper into this uncharted territory, the significance of the abyss in biological research becomes increasingly clear, revealing secrets that could redefine our understanding of life itself. In the profound depths of the ocean, traditional biological rules seem to dissolve, giving way to a realm where life defies our expectations. Here, in the abyss, organisms thrive under extreme pressure, darkness, and frigid temperatures, adapting in ways that challenge our understanding of biology. These depths host creatures that have evolved unique traits, such as gelatinous bodies that withstand crushing forces or bioluminescent features that illuminate the pitch-black surroundings. The adaptations found in these organisms are not just fascinating, they redefine the very essence of life. As we prepare to explore these newly discovered beings, we must acknowledge that the rules governing life on the surface may not apply here. This sets the stage for an exciting journey into the abyss, where we will uncover the remarkable adaptations of these organisms and the mysteries they hold for science and our understanding of life itself. Exploring the abyss presents formidable challenges, primarily due to extreme pressure, darkness, and temperature. At depths of over 36,000 feet, the pressure can exceed 1,000 times that at sea level, crushing most conventional equipment. This immense pressure influences the very structure of life forms, leading to adaptations such as flexible bodies and specialized cellular structures. The darkness is another critical factor. With no natural light penetrating these depths, organisms have evolved unique methods to navigate and hunt, often relying on bioluminescence. Temperature also plays a significant role, with frigid waters hovering just above freezing. These extreme conditions create a unique ecosystem where traditional biological rules often do not apply. Life forms exhibit remarkable adaptations, such as slow metabolism and unique reproductive strategies, allowing them to thrive in an environment that seems inhospitable. Understanding these challenges is essential for appreciating the resilience of life in the abyss. Meet the newly discovered organism, the abyssal polychaete, a remarkable worm that thrives in the extreme conditions of the ocean's depths. This creature has evolved unique adaptations that allow it to survive where few others can. With a body designed to withstand crushing pressures, it possesses a flexible, segmented structure that minimizes damage from the immense weight of water above. Its skin is covered in a specialized mucus layer, which not only protects it from harmful bacteria, but also helps it glide effortlessly across the ocean floor. Additionally, the abyssal polychaete has developed a unique metabolic process that enables it to derive energy from chemosynthesis, utilizing chemicals released from hydrothermal vents instead of sunlight. This extraordinary adaptation allows it to flourish in complete darkness, showcasing the incredible resilience of life in the abyss. As we delve deeper into these environments, the secrets of such organisms could redefine our understanding of survival on Earth. The second organism we explore is the deep sea snailfish, a remarkable creature with unusual feeding habits that reflect its unique environment. Unlike many fish that rely on active hunting, the snailfish employs a more opportunistic approach, feeding on detritus and small organisms that drift down from above. This strategy allows it to thrive in the nutrient-scarce abyss, where food sources are limited. The snailfish's translucent body helps it blend into the dark surroundings, providing camouflage against predators. Additionally, its gelatinous structure enables it to withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean. Interacting with its environment, the snailfish plays a crucial role in the ecosystem by recycling nutrients and contributing to the food web. Its ability to adapt and utilize available resources showcases the incredible resilience of life in extreme conditions. As we delve deeper into the abyss, the snailfish exemplifies how organisms have evolved to survive in one of Earth's most challenging habitats. Bioluminescence serves as a vital adaptation for many abyssal organisms, enabling them to thrive in the pitch-black depths of the ocean. This natural phenomenon allows these creatures to produce light through biochemical reactions, 
which they use for various purposes. For instance, the anglerfish employs a bioluminescent lure to attract unsuspecting prey, illuminating the darkness with a tantalizing glow. Similarly, the deep-sea jellyfish utilizes its luminescent capabilities to communicate with potential mates or deter predators. Another fascinating example is the lanternfish, which emits light to create counter-illumination, helping it blend into the surrounding water and evade larger predators. These adaptations not only enhance survival, but also illustrate the intricate relationships within the abyssal ecosystem. As researchers continue to study these organisms, the role of bioluminescence reveals the complexity and beauty of life in one of Earth's most extreme environments, challenging our understanding of biological interactions. Extremophiles are remarkable organisms that defy our traditional understanding of life by thriving in conditions once deemed uninhabitable, found in extreme environments such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents and highly acidic lakes. These organisms exhibit unique adaptations that allow them to survive intense pressure, extreme temperatures, and high salinity. Their existence challenges the notion of what constitutes a viable habitat, suggesting that life could potentially exist in similar extreme conditions elsewhere in the universe, such as on icy moons like Europa or in the atmosphere of Venus. Research on extremophiles not only expands our knowledge of biodiversity on Earth, but also fuels the search for extraterrestrial life. By studying these resilient organisms, scientists gain insights into the biochemical processes that enable survival in harsh environments, paving the way for future explorations and the possibility of discovering life beyond our planet. The implications of these findings are profound, reshaping our understanding of life's resilience and adaptability. The discoveries made in the abyss are pivotal for scientific research, as they challenge long-standing biological theories. Traditional biology often assumes that life requires certain conditions, such as sunlight and moderate temperatures. However, the organisms found in the deep sea thrive in extreme environments, defying these assumptions. This not only broadens our understanding of life's adaptability, but also prompts a re-evaluation of what constitutes a habitable environment. These findings have implications for astrobiology, suggesting that life could exist in similar extreme conditions elsewhere in the universe. Additionally, the unique adaptations of abyssal organisms can inspire new technologies and medical advancements. By studying these life forms, scientists can uncover novel biochemical processes that may lead to breakthroughs in various fields. Overall, the significance of these discoveries extends beyond the ocean floor, reshaping our understanding of biology and the potential for life in the cosmos. In the abyss, life thrives through remarkable partnerships known as symbiosis where organisms depend on one another for survival in extreme conditions. One fascinating example is the relationship between certain species of tube worms and chemosynthetic bacteria. These tube worms, found near hydrothermal vents, lack a digestive system and rely on bacteria that convert toxic chemicals into energy. In return, the bacteria receive a safe habitat and nutrients from the worms. Another notable partnership is between deep sea shrimp and anemones, where the shrimp find protection among the anemone's stinging tentacles, while the anemones benefit from the shrimp's waste, which provides essential nutrients. These symbiotic relationships illustrate how life adapts and flourishes in the harshest environments, challenging our understanding of survival. The interconnectedness of these organisms highlights the complexity of abyssal ecosystems, revealing that cooperation is as vital as competition in the depths of the ocean. In the abyss, a fascinating predator-prey relationship exists between the gulper eel and its primary prey, the lanternfish. The gulper eel, with its enormous mouth and expandable stomach, can consume prey much larger than itself, making it a formidable predator. Lanternfish, on the other hand, are abundant in these depths and utilize bioluminescence to evade predators. They emit light patterns to communicate and confuse their attackers. This intricate dance between predator and prey illustrates the complex food web that thrives in extreme conditions. The gulper eel's hunting strategy involves using its keen sense of smell to detect the faint bioluminescent glow of lanternfish, guiding it through the darkness. This relationship not only highlights the adaptations of both species, but also emphasizes the delicate balance of life in the abyss. Understanding these interactions is crucial for comprehending the broader ecological dynamics at play in these mysterious deep-sea environments. Human activity poses a significant threat to the fragile ecosystems of the abyss. Deep-sea mining, pollution, and climate change disrupt these delicate habitats, leading to irreversible damage. The extraction of resources from the ocean floor not only destroys the physical environment, but also affects the unique organisms that inhabit these depths. 
As temperatures rise and ocean acidity increases, many species face extinction, disrupting the intricate balance of life in these ecosystems. Conservation efforts are crucial in mitigating these impacts. Protecting marine reserves and implementing sustainable practices can help preserve biodiversity and ensure the survival of these extraordinary organisms. Raising awareness about the importance of the abyss and its inhabitants is vital for garnering public support for conservation initiatives. By fostering a deeper understanding of these ecosystems, we can inspire collective action to safeguard the future of the abyss, ensuring that its mysteries and wonders remain for generations to come. In our journey to understand the abyss, we turn to the experts who are unraveling its mysteries. Dr. Emily Carter, a marine biologist, shares her enthusiasm. Every expedition reveals life forms that challenge our understanding of biology. Her excitement is palpable as she describes the astonishing adaptations of organisms thriving in complete darkness. Similarly, Dr. Raj Patel, a researcher specializing in extremophiles, emphasizes the implications of these findings for astrobiology. If life can exist in such harsh conditions on Earth, imagine what could be out there on other planets, he states. Their passion is infectious, highlighting the thrill of discovery that drives their work. As they navigate the challenges of deep sea exploration, these scientists are not just studying life, they are redefining it. Their insights remind us that the abyss is not just a void, but a vibrant ecosystem full of surprises waiting to be explored. The exploration of the abyss has been revolutionized by remarkable technological advancements, primarily through the development of submersibles and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs. These innovations have allowed scientists to venture into the ocean's depths, where traditional diving methods are impossible due to extreme pressure and darkness. Submersibles, often equipped with advanced imaging systems, can withstand crushing pressures while capturing high-resolution images and videos of previously unseen environments. ROVs, on the other hand, are remotely controlled and can be deployed to explore hazardous areas without risking human lives. They are equipped with various tools for sampling and conducting experiments, making them invaluable for research. These technologies have not only expanded our understanding of deep-sea ecosystems, but have also enabled the discovery of unique organisms that thrive in these extreme conditions. As we continue to innovate, the potential for uncovering the mysteries of the abyss grows exponentially, paving the way for future explorations. The abyss remains one of the least explored frontiers on our planet, sparking intense interest among researchers. Ongoing studies focus on uncovering the myriad life forms that inhabit these extreme environments, with scientists employing advanced technologies like submersibles and remotely operated vehicles. Future explorations are expected to delve deeper into uncharted territories, revealing organisms that may possess unique biochemical properties. These discoveries could revolutionize our understanding of life's adaptability and resilience. Researchers are particularly excited about the potential for finding extremophiles that thrive in conditions previously deemed inhospitable. Each expedition brings new insights, challenging existing biological theories, and expanding our knowledge of ecosystems. As we push the boundaries of exploration, the possibility of encountering entirely new species fuels scientific curiosity. The abyss holds secrets that could not only reshape our understanding of life on Earth, but also inform the search for extraterrestrial life, making this research critical for both biology and astrobiology. The deep sea has long captivated the imagination of people around the world. Its vast, dark expanse is home to some of the most bizarre and mesmerizing organisms, sparking curiosity and wonder. With stunning visuals and footage of these abyssal creatures, we can truly appreciate their beauty and strangeness. Imagine glowing jellyfish pulsating through the inky waters or the graceful movements of a giant squid. These images not only fascinate but also remind us of the mysteries that lie beneath the waves. The deep sea challenges our understanding of life, showcasing unique adaptations that defy conventional biology. As we explore this alien world, we uncover secrets that inspire awe and ignite a desire for further discovery. The public's fascination with the deep sea is a testament to our innate curiosity about the unknown, encouraging us to delve deeper into the ocean's depths and explore the wonders that await us. The discoveries in the abyss challenge our understanding of life itself. In these extreme environments, where pressure is crushing and darkness prevails, traditional definitions of what it means to be alive are put to the test. Organisms that thrive in such conditions force us to reconsider our assumptions about resilience and adaptability. Are these creatures merely surviving, or do they embody a different essence of life? 
the existence of extremophiles, organisms that flourish in environments previously deemed uninhabitable, raises profound questions about the limits of life. If life can persist in the depths of the ocean, what does that imply for the potential of life on other planets? These findings urge us to reflect on our place in the universe and the interconnectedness of all living beings. Ultimately, they invite us to embrace a broader, more inclusive definition of life, one that transcends the boundaries we once thought were absolute. The unique adaptations of abyssal organisms have the potential to revolutionize medicine and technology. For instance, the bioluminescent properties seen in certain deep-sea creatures can inspire new imaging techniques in medical diagnostics, allowing for clearer visualization of tissues and cells. Additionally, the extremophiles that thrive under immense pressure and extreme temperatures can lead to breakthroughs in pharmaceuticals, as their proteins may possess qualities that enhance drug stability and efficacy. Moreover, the symbiotic relationships observed in these organisms can inform the development of sustainable technologies, such as bio-inspired materials that mimic natural processes for energy efficiency. The study of these organisms encourages biomimicry, where innovations are modeled after nature's designs, leading to eco-friendly solutions. As we delve deeper into the abyss, the lessons learned from these remarkable life forms could pave the way for advancements that not only enhance human life, but also promote environmental sustainability. In summary, the discoveries made in the abyss have profound implications for our understanding of life. The organisms found in these extreme environments challenge traditional biological concepts, demonstrating that life can adapt and thrive in conditions once deemed inhospitable. From extremophiles that withstand immense pressure to bioluminescent species that communicate through light, these findings reveal a diverse tapestry of life that defies expectations. This new knowledge prompts a re-evaluation of biological textbooks, urging scientists to incorporate these extraordinary adaptations and interactions into their teachings. The significance extends beyond Earth, suggesting that similar life forms could exist on other celestial bodies. By recognizing the resilience of life in the abyss, we not only expand our scientific horizons, but also reinforce the idea that nature is full of surprises. These revelations inspire curiosity and underscore the importance of continued exploration, reminding us that the mysteries of the ocean are far from being fully understood. The ocean is a vast, unexplored frontier teeming with mysteries waiting to be uncovered. As we delve into its depths, we encounter extraordinary life forms that challenge our understanding of biology and survival. Each discovery not only reveals the resilience of life, but also highlights the delicate balance of these ecosystems. Continued exploration and research are crucial, as they provide insights into how these organisms adapt to extreme conditions. The more we learn about the ocean, the more we realize its importance to our planet's health and biodiversity. By appreciating the ocean's mysteries, we foster a sense of wonder and responsibility towards its preservation. Every expedition into the abyss holds the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that can reshape our knowledge and inspire future generations. Let us embrace the unknown, supporting the scientists and researchers dedicated to unlocking the secrets of the deep, ensuring that the ocean remains a source of inspiration and discovery for years to come. As we delve into the wonders of the abyss, it becomes increasingly clear that these unique ecosystems are not just fascinating, but also fragile. The discoveries we've made highlight the incredible resilience of life, yet they also remind us of the threats posed by human activity, pollution, climate change, and deep sea mining. It is crucial that we take action to protect these extraordinary habitats. I urge you to support conservation initiatives dedicated to safeguarding the ocean's depths. Organizations are working tirelessly to establish marine protected areas and promote sustainable practices. You can contribute by donating to these causes, advocating for policy changes, or simply spreading awareness about the importance of ocean conservation. Together, we can ensure that future generations will continue to explore and marvel at the mysteries of the abyss. Let's make a commitment to protect these ecosystems, for they hold secrets that could benefit all life on Earth.